Hello friends, welcome back to Infigyan. Today in this video, we are having one very interesting question from quartic equations. So let's get started by writing all the terms to LHS. We will write x power 4 plus 7x cube plus 2x square minus 29x minus 11 equal to 0. Now I will write our LHS quartic expression in terms of product of two quadratics. So I will generate two cases here. Let me write here case 1 where I will consider the multiplication of x square plus ax plus 11 with x square plus bx minus 1. We will get constant minus 11 once we will multiply these two and second case we will consider x square plus ax minus 11 we will multiply with x square plus bx plus 1 so out of these two cases one case will be accepted and another case won't be accepted so we have to find out our answer let us begin with case 1. Here we will multiply both the brackets first. So let me write our case 1. Let's multiply x square with all the three terms of bracket 2, then ax with all the three terms of bracket 2, then 11 will multiply with second bracket. We will write here x power 4. This is x square times x square, x square times bx, we will write here bx cubed, x square times minus 1, minus x square, ax times x square, ax cube, ax times bx, we will write here abx square, ax times minus 1, minus ax, then 11 times x square, we will write here 11x square. 11 times bx, we will write here 11bx. Then 11 times minus 1 will give us minus 11. We will add, we will write x power 4 plus a plus b times x cube. Then we will write ab, 11 minus 1 is 10. So ab plus 10 times x square. Then we are going to write 11b minus a times x and then constant minus 11 equal to 0. Now we are going to compare all the coefficients of both the quartic equation. Here we have the original one and this is once we are multiplying two quadratics. So if I will compare the coefficient of x cube we will write our first equation a plus b equal to 7. If we will compare coefficient of x square, so I can write a b plus 10, this would be equal to 2, right hand side we will write 2. Then we will compare coefficient of x, so we will write 11 b minus a equal to minus 29. Now we have to solve these simultaneous equations. So we will solve two equations and cross examine with the third one. Let me write here our first two equations or first and third equation. I will write here a plus b equal to 7. Then I will write minus a plus 11b equal to minus 29 and we will write our third equation ab plus 10 equal to 2 or I can write ab equal to negative 8 2 minus 10. Now I will add these two equations. Let's add. So plus a minus a will be over 1b 11b 12b 7 plus of minus 29 minus 22. So we will get b equal to minus 11 over 6. 
Now I will write a plus b equal to 7 equation. From here, a will be equal to 7 minus b. So I can write 7 minus of minus 11 over 6 plus 11 over 6. This will be equal to 42 plus 11, 53 over 6. So here we have the value of a. Value of b, value of a, we are going to plug in here. Let's check. So I will write here 53 over 6 times minus 11 over 6. So 11 is prime number and 53 is also prime number. We cannot get minus 8. It is not going to cancel denominator. So we can write this is not equal to minus 8. So this case is rejected. Case 1 is rejected as it is not satisfying equations. Now we are going to write second case. So let me write equations first. Now we will multiply both the brackets. We will write x power 4. Then we will write bx cube. Then we will write x square. Multiplication with x square is over. Over we will write multiplication with ax times x square as ax cube. ax times bx we will write here abx square. ax times 1 we will write ax. In next stage we will write minus 11x square minus 11 times bx minus 11bx and then we will write minus 11. Now we have to add. So we will get x power 4. Then we will write a plus b times x cube. Then we will write ab minus 10 times x square this time. Then we will write a minus 11b times x. Then we have minus 11 RHS is 0. Now we are going to compare coefficients from both the equations. So coefficient of x cube a plus b this must be equal to 7. We will write our first equation a plus b equal to 7. Coefficient of x square a b minus 10 this must be equal to coefficient of x square here which is 2. Then coefficient of x I will write a minus 11b. This must be equal to minus 29. So I will solve these two equations and then we can verify with third one. So let me write both the equations first a plus b equal to 7 and a minus 11 b equal to minus 29. a plus b equal to 7 a minus 11 b equal to minus 29. Now we are going to subtract second equation from first one. So a will be cancelled out. b minus of minus 11 b will give us 12 b. 7 minus of minus 29 we will write here 36. Let us divide both sides by 12. So 36 over 12 is 3. We will get the value of b equal to 3. Now I will write our first equation a plus b equal to 7. So from here I can write a equal to 7 minus b. Let's put the value of b here. We will get a equal to 7 minus 3. So a equal to 4. Now a is 4, b is 3. Now we will write our third equation which was ab minus 10 equal to 2. Or I can write ab equal to 12. Is it true? Let's check. a is 4, b is 3. So 4 times 3. Yes. 12 equal to 12. So this is our accepted case. So we can factor our quartic expression in terms of two quadratics multiplication.
So I can write our equation equal to x square plus ax. A was 4, b was 3. So I will write here x square plus ax minus 11 times x square plus bx plus 1 equal to 0. Let's put the values of a and b. So we will write x square plus 4x minus 11 times x square plus 3x plus 1 equal to 0. Now we will use product 0 rule and we can write either x square plus 4x minus 11 equal to 0 or x square plus 3x plus 1 equal to 0. Now I can write our first quadratic equation x square plus 4x equal to 11. Now I can add 4 to both sides. So let us add 4 to both sides. So LHS will give us x plus 2 whole square and RHS is 15. Now we can consider a square root both sides. We will get x plus 2 equal to plus minus square root 15. Now we will subtract 2 to both sides and we will get our answer minus 2 plus minus square root of 15. So first two real solutions are here. Now we have to solve second quadratic equation. I will use quadratic formula x equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square is 3 square 9 minus 4 times 1 times 1. So I am writing 4 over 2 times 1 is 2 will be equal to minus 3 plus minus a square root of 5 over 2. So here we have the other two real solutions. So in total we have four real solutions minus 2 plus minus root 15 minus 3 plus minus root 5 over 2. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye bye.